There is a loneliness in this world so great that you can see it in a slow movement at the hands of a clock. People so tired, mutilated, either by love or no love. People are just not good to each other, one on one. The rich are not good to the rich. The poor are not good to the poor. We are afraid. Our educational system tells us that we can all be big ass winners. It hasn't told us about the gutters or the suicide or the terror of one person aching in one place alone, untouched, unspoken to, watering a plant. People are not good to each other. People are not good to each other. People are not good to each other. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like Wolf's Bob's Rock Vanish? Can Francis go through? His aim was to wipe the mind clean. Mind control. It's called trauma based mind control. I'm not happy. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy is dismissive. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Uh, exposure to true information does not matter anymore. Don't try your powers on me. MK Ultra is on your television. MK Ultra is on your smartphone. MK Ultra is in your school. MK Ultra is in your water. If it was enough to just use weapons on us, they wouldn't bother with the mind control or the social engineering or the divide and conquer tactics. They think that we'll just tell them like good little boys that we won't wear them. Evil can be so disguised that people would think it was good. Just begun. <laughs> took a rest last week oh yeah right People coming off of a it. very hot i took it i was like dude that was a big risk for yeah. me i was like pushing hoss i mean we constantly get shit on because we don't have bits <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah we don't have funny bit we just came we yeah. came with the information if you want to fucking read now we can put covid to bed Seriously. next up climate change yeah. That's the dude's real wheelhouse. You guys want to talk to us? That's Hoss. scary. That's his dude's real wheelhouse. He's got thing. half of a book written on uh, climate change. That is fucking nuts. But That's going to be a good one. And I want I want to bring the all the Agenda 21 and the UN 2030 shit to him and be like, bro, yeah. see how this is the shit that we're into? Like, it was, That was crazy. You know the thing I mean? you sent me this week with that guy reading Agenda <laughs> 201 that was, or Event 201. Yeah, that was crazy. It's like word for word everything that is currently happening. And, dude, how funny was it? I don't know if you got to the part, but, like, in his predictions, he's, like, nailing it. And you're like, dude, this is wild. And then he just goes, well, there won't be an election because you can't have an election We're if there's a people. pandemic. Yeah. And it's like, uh, dude, you don't even know. They did mail-in ballots. <laughs> Brother, you don't even know what they're up to. Dude, it's... Sorry, sorry. That's a domestic terrorist threat. Yeah. You gotta watch out. Got gotta watch my P's and Q's. It's fucking crazy that... Like, I was sitting there. I was watching 000 last night, finished it. No big deal. Yeah, dude, I'm, I feel like I'm on crack right I feel like I'm on drugs right now. Yeah. Because I am have no sleep. Yep. I'm teetering on what I think is a nervous breakdown. Yep. Or depression. A lot of shit to do. <laughs> I don't feel good, man. Yeah, I, was, I, need, I need, like, rest. I'm not getting rest. Yeah, you shouldn't have watched 000 until 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you did this to me, bro. I You're told like, you. Check this show out. I told you to watch it on Friday. Every episode ends in a cliffhanger. Yes. So, I mean, what did you think I was going to do, man? 
It makes you. You know, I have no control over my impulses. I thought, like, dude, I have the worst recommendations. I'm at this point known for it. Okay, I I take it back. I apologize, dude. I apologize. I I said that. I figured you were just gonna cut like that's fucking not. You don't know film. I don't know film. You know film. I was like, hey, this is good. I like this, dude. That is nice. You you got to see Gamora. Yeah, I can't. The the movie, not the. I never saw the TV show. It's not. Fuck that. It's not on uh, iTunes. That whole like old man hiding and shit, like that's Gamora. Yeah, that, yeah. Zero 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 is on Amazon Prime for those of you who have it. Uh, it's awesome. It's about drug trafficking. The whole fucking show is just amazing. Yeah. All I want to do is, I we need to get the coke to Italy, dude. Yes. I need to. I needed to get there. Man. Yes. It's. <laughs> I wa- I watched it on Friday, and at like when I was done, I was like, okay, this episode is an hour. I'm going to sleep at 10 o'clock. I can end movies. I can like sit there and just finish a movie with 10 minutes left. If I'm going to sleep, I'm, like, I'm going to sleep. I'll leave yeah. movie with 10 minutes. I'll go to sleep. No problem. Dude, like, EJ's trying to get me to watch The Irishman. And he's fuck. like, he, he's like, dude, just watch it in little half hour spurts. Not a bad idea. And I've never seen it. So I, it was all right. Like I didn't, I didn't like it that much. I also hate Robert De Niro with a passion. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Especially after he shouted out Cuomo so hard, I love how nobody's bringing that up. Oh, dude, nobody's we got bringing a lot up of the shit to cover. Fuck. No, nobody's bringing up like the whole Emmy like dick suck from like Billy Crystal, Spike Lee, Robert De Niro, yeah, dude, all these dudes, um, drunk Billy Joel, fucking <laughs> come, come on, man, he has a problem with substance abuse. <laughs> He's fucking drunk he on the song. video. He writes good Him and Spike Lee are drunk on the video. Maybe dude. he doesn't have best control. No, he doesn't. He probably watches zero 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 until three thirty in the morning too. <laughs> yeah, it, it the is. The subtitles put me to bed though. It's hilarious to watch people like sit there, like, oh, they all used to praise Andrew Cuomo, like how ridiculous is that? It's like, yeah. Now multiply that by literally every politician. Yeah, and multiply that what... by one Obama. Yeah, it's just one it's Obama, a... dude. And they're like, oh, dude, uh, what's going on in Afghanistan? It's like same shit that's been going on bro yeah they took <laughs> they, they took our weapons we had yeah. so many weapons oh, oh we didn't boy. sell them to them this time Jeez, louise that's crazy they stole them wow it's kind of weird that the media is putting like the fucking isr on on it but at the end of the day they can't stop like watch zero 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 they can't stop you know how in that show when the guy's like we're the backbone of capitalism yeah yeah they can't stop it dude this is what keeps wall street liquid it looks like call of duty it's money laundering it literally looks like they went there, like, all right, your guns are here, you yeah. restock here, and then you can continue the game. I saw, like, a tweet, like a like a meme, like, you know, when they just yeah. have, like, screenshots of, like, a tweet, and then, like, it's a the comment. It's the only way I learn things. Yeah, yeah, obviously, dude, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Some chick's like, oh, my God, like, Afghanistan fell, like, in one day or whatever, like, what what were we even doing there? And the dude just goes, money laundering. Yeah. <laughs> like, it. yeah, dude. <laughs> Wake just up. selling tons of weapons and fucking killing people. Yeah, there's a, uh, but that that Cuomo shit is killing me because we called it. I like to see that. Sorry, man, but I like to see that zero 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 thing because it's You're like obsessed. I get to see like if it's real, I get to see like other parts of the world. Yeah, you know, like I I don't know what the fuck Senegal looks like. I'm when the dude's like sitting in the club and he comes out and there's just like a chicken and piles of scrap. Yeah. I was like, this is fucking nuts. It's like Star Wars. It really is. Yeah. Star Wars is just Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was pissed off at how cozy everyone else's setup is compared to ours. Like, you like yeah, you just have an aesthetic. You have an aesthetic of Latin America. Yes. You love their women. But even the club in Senegal. That's that that they're ripping off. They're all the same culture too. It's so comfy. They're all the same culture, dude. You just, you're not supposed to be at this latitude. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I'm, you know what I mean. I'm like all south. of the shit you like is low. Yes. You know, you're not like I'm Mel Gibson like when he was 16, dude. He was studying Norse yeah. language. That dude should be up. Yeah. That dude's up. You want to go down? I dude. <laughs> it's just comfy. Like we go everywhere we go now. It's like oh, check out this new construction house. It looks like a fucking Apple store. Yeah. Like, people don't know what you're doing. Just right give now. me some fucking people rocks. People don't know what you're doing with your style right now. Give me some rocks. Low lights. Yeah. Low couch. You, I'm just chilling. You might be like a like. There's like a little egg. You're like a little fucking GC, like poking his beak out. You're just getting out. You're licking your eyes, dude. Everyone I talk to <laughs> is like, yeah, obviously gray. Fuck you. I'll put. I make. We put teal in the room. Make the room teal. No, gentle aquamarini. Yes. Come on, man. <laughs> put it, some respect. An exact on. match to turquoise. 
But yeah, the uh, their living situations are just so comfy. Yeah, I liked the one the one dude's house. Anyway, we'll shut up about it. Nobody fucking knows this shit. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, Cuomo. Okay, yeah, Cuomo. Fuck, came at the Jews. Came at the Jews. This is why he's resigned. They're putting a Me Too on him. The you know it's that's fake. what they do. Yeah. You know the Me Too's are fake. Yes. He's got a nipple range, bro. He doesn't like girls. <laughs> You're saying he could catch HIV. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, God. He's going to get the Delta. <laughs> yeah. He's going to get the, what's the doomsday one? They're like the doomsday virant, or Ligma? variant. Ligma? No, it's beyond that. There's a new one? The Newsweek was like, watch out, there's going to be a doomsday variant. And it's going to spread like, this everyone? is the HIV one that's in, in that thing. Remember yeah, what I was gay telling people you? can get, not straight people. That thing, yeah. um... When the guy said they'll release something that's thirty yeah. percent kill rate, yeah. and then at that point, dude, we are domestic terrorists. At yeah. that point, they probably have enough like gumption or whatever to lock us up. Yeah, I mean, later, boys. It, it just it's wild to see like that's every politician is just operating on the like they're on Obviously. on airplane mode, fucking flying through life, and if they say no to one of the people that fucking fund them, it's an immediate me too. Yeah, they for, brought you to now, all yeah. these parties where it was too easy to get pussy. That's why Chris Cuomo's dancing like that in the club. So that politics. The video of Chris Cuomo that's dancing in the club. That's what it looks like if you've gotten too much pussy. Once you start <laughs> dancing crazy like that, it's because you fuck too many girls. <laughs> once they, they give white boys a little flavor. Yeah. Once you start <laughs> like, that's like me after ten beers. Like I, I'm sitting there first. I'm on trip, yeah. just like oh, I can't dance. Chris Cuomo. I mean, walks I can drink there. ten beers. I don't even remember pussy, dude. I can't dance. There's no fucking rhythm here, bro. Oh, it's man. all gone. The life force is gone, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. But yeah, I think all those politicians. It's just one. If they turn on whoever, you're out. That's all it is. Yeah. Everyone has a fuck because, like, dude, they're doing shit that doesn't make sense. I think that's why they do that weird shit, like when Weinstein got busted. And he was holding the book. Like they sending, all sim- they all he's sending like symbols. a signal to them, like, or to others, Fuck or, with or whatever. Yeah. Like, skated. Basically, like, you can't kill me. Yeah. Because they, why don't they kill them? They can't. They, there's yeah. way too many fucking. Because, like, you saw a sloppy this in 000. Like, when that shit's going on, like, the all, world is so sloppy. This is like show. a mudslide towards their end goal, but there's so many fucking loose ends where. You have to make conspiracy theorists. You have to make them sound crazy because, like, it's so hard to do this in, like, one fell swoop is impossible. So all the shit they're doing is sloppy as fuck, but it kind of seems like it's sloppy for this reason. Now all that's on the news is, like, that's obviously a lie, and then you have people who think it's true, and you're just fighting. You're just fighting in the mudslide, dude. Yeah. It's an absolute trap. Yeah, this is the dividing, the dividing stuff, yeah. But, I mean... <laughs> The Chris Cuomo stuff. Yeah, Chris, Chris Cuomo's got moves. This is known. The party boy lifestyle brings... We'll, we'll take a step out of the fucking... I was, yeah, that's all I want to hear about, man. Fake realm. <laughs> I had to go to Atlantic City last weekend for an event. For a bachelor party for a friend. With the elites. Yes, there was... There give was, me their names, dude. I don't, just say their names, their first names. Bailey, Walker. These are dudes. Yeah. I mean, th- these are dog names, bro. <laughs> they're not they're very rich people names you don't know that but yeah i i went down there i had heart palpitations all weekend dude i don't know what was going on i mean your mom says it's connected to the sun i, I don't know but i was fucking jammed on that but whatever i get i drive down there at like six o'clock on friday i get down quick drive i was surprised like hour and 15 minutes and I have to meet them at an Italian restaurant they're at. And the one kid I have to sit next to him. I want to become a made man. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Sorry. We have a whole lot of new lingo. Yeah. <laughs> We've been gone for a week. <laughs> don't talk about me manjit on Fridays. <laughs> we got okay? a lot of new stuff. These four walls, Ange. Don't talk about me manjit. <laughs> but I go to this Italian place. And it's pandemonium. These guys are fucking drunk as shit. And I sit next to the one kid. Bailey. <laughs> And he just starts, dude, I I've saw him at another uh, bachelor party. This isn't really my friend. It's my friend's friend. Mm-hmm. Don't try to put that on me. I hate you, man. So I don't I get sit, invited to anything. I so. sit next to him, and he's like, I'm so horny. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> Bro, chill. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah, we got to a strip club. I was like, dude, yeah. I'm so horny. I was like, 
you want me to like ask you why? And like the kids are like, do it, dude. Because I'm walking into a conversation. Oh, okay. I so got this you. kid just like looking down almost in disgust of himself about how horny he is. Been there. <laughs> and like, I'm a dunce, dude. I roll in there in like a polo that's been in my closet for like probably two years. Nice pair of khakis. Like, hey, guys, how are we today? It's like, I'm fucking horny, dude. Look at what she's sending me. Look at what she's sending me. And, like, he's showing the guys. The guys are freaking out. He goes, and she wants me to fuck her at the wedding. And her boyfriend's going to be there. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. That's a sinner. Horrible move. <laughs> yeah. And he turns over to me just like, what would you do? I was like, well... Honestly, like I'm stone cold sober. I was like, well, there, I think there's karma attached to all your actions, and whether you want them to be positive or negative, it's kind of up to you. I'm not going to beat any self well. service to others, basically. You're, just, you're a fucking weirdo, dude. I was like, all right. I was like, hey, do whatever you want. I wouldn't do that. Another one of the friends told me I had to have a Jewish wedding, buddy. No, <laughs> I ain't I'm not having a Jewish wedding ever. That ain't happening. So, this the night goes on. We'll. Fast forward to the end, and I'll come back to where we were, which was a fucking cesspool. But we, I fall asleep, and I wake up to a picture. This kid's shin is busted open. 15 stitches. <laughs> fell up an escalator. Homie, that's God. <laughs> You're covering your neighbor's wife. You're going to fall up the escalator and get 15 stitches on your shin. Stop trying to have sex with this people. This displeases Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was talking. Like, the people were pumped up. Like, dude, who cares? Look what she's doing. I was like, God damn. This is like a den of snakes. Yeah, this is wild. I, like, I, I did it. I'm not, I'm not innocent. When I was a youth, when I was when 18, you 19. Ute, it's a youth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're a made man. I had sex with a girl who had a boyfriend. And did it feel good? Yes, it felt like pussy. Everything was very nice. But the eight-month shriv that came after that was all I earned every fucking second of it. I think I earned my life as well. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not cool. Do not do that. But we went to um, Bear Exposure in uh, Atlantic City. I didn't know how ghetto that place. Like, I didn't know Atlantic how City's fuck. Rough, yeah. It's always been like that. I remember, like, catching a real cheap beat. The I mean, fucking you watch, like, Boardwalk Empire? Borok Empire, dude. I watch AC Hookers. Okay. On okay. HBO. Yeah. That was a real cheap beat I used to get because it would come on more than oh, the porn yeah. would come on. I mean, the old HBO stuff like Taxi Cab Confessions used to fuck me up. Dude, it fucking... I used to like, jerk off to real sex. Like, it was nuts, I used to dude. jerk off I used to, to jerk off to Love Line. Dude, I used to That's jerk off to... That's fucking two dudes talking on a phone. <laughs> If I saw TVMA, you know when you scratch a dog and it starts kicking his leg? That shit would happen. I would just stare at oh, TV yeah. guide until my eyes bleed. Channel 20 HBO. Yeah, my little nephew's going through it now. And, like, my uh, stepmom never had boys. And she, the way she talks about it, I'm like, dude, you can't do it. Put the shame on this kid. Hey, what's she saying? She's though? like banging on the door when he's in the shower. Like, I know what you're doing in there and shit. I'm like, Come dude, on. you got to chill with this. But she never raised boys. She thinks it's funny. That's not funny. Yeah, I was like, none of this is funny. Like, she she doesn't always like to raise a son. I'd hang myself. Oh, I was like, you're fucking killing this, dude. Yeah. If I had my portable DVD player oh, yeah. up on the hamper, my mom's like, I know what you're doing there. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. I'm watching NBA highlights. <laughs> that was my that was my shit. I would have an NBA highlights DVD player, and then the fucking busting up my butt volume too, and I would just switch them out when I came out. NBA NBA would be on top Obviously, of it, dude. So. No big deal. All right, go back to the bachelor party. We're back in AC. We're a bear exposure. Bear exposure, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah, if AC hookers came on HBO, I'm beating it. Okay, that said. Yeah. That, Noted. that said, moving on. Well, I'm in <laughs> AC. At this point, I'm in AC hookers. I know strippers. Like One you in know them in real life? I know her. What? I know, no, not at the place. I know how they act. So oh, I see oh, how oh. they are. I thought you were friends with a stripper. I was like, bro. No, 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 no. I, 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 we've mingled. I'm friends with a male stripper. All right. It's not a competition. All right. But he's I, a painter. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> so I see how this chick acts. So, like, she's always online, like, fucking cash at me if you want to talk to me. My time's, like, worthless. Like, you're a hooker. <laughs> you're, you're not that, like, I don't need a cash. You can talk to women. You don't need a cash app. You like they have this real fucking like fuck dudes, but that at the same time, dudes are the only ones giving them money. 
Yeah, it's called financial domination. But go on. I'm not in. Finish your story. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I wouldn't give her a red cent if it was me. But you're a pay pig. Anyway, go on. Yeah. And then I'm there and I see all these girls. I'm like, this is what it all is. Like, I I don't like it that much. Yeah. You have the negative sunglasses on in the strip club. Yeah. It's just like, I just don't like it. It's It's not my thing. A chick grabs me like a real fucking bruiser. With an iPad. Comes out of, come here, honey. I was like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm fucking doing nothing anyway. They throw me down on a bed. And I'm sitting on the bed like, what the f- beds? Yes. Jesus. There's beds with poles. And they bring this chick in. And she's like, okay, so it's $2,500 for the private room. I was like, lady. <laughs> I, I, I was like trying That's because you're hanging out with um, fucking Walker. Oh, yeah. So you know what I mean? I'm like, lady. I don't, Bailey and I don't want to do She's like, don't worry. It's going to be a very discreet thing. No one. I was like, no, you don't understand. I don't care if this says Julie's yeah. Jack Shack. I don't have twenty five hundred. I'm not <laughs> spending that. Yeah, I, I'm sure she's a nice woman. So then she's like, all right, whatever. We can do a lap dance for two hundred dollars. I was like, where? I love how that's the scale too. Yeah, it's like a month of a month of my paycheck or two hundred bucks. Yeah, like they start out with the full blast. Like, I and then like the, I'm giving the chick a. It, was, it wound up being like fifty dollar lap dance. And the chick's like, but you said you were going to give me $200. Like, when did I say this? Yeah, right. Where is it in the contract? Those are her two options. <laughs> it was just insane. Like, it's like the whole time they're giving you a lap dance, it's like, we should do something. Like, they're sales pitching you while mm. trying to grind on you. It's like, lady, can't we just enjoy the night together? Yeah, when I was young, I was so confused because I was like, you don't even have to talk anymore. I know that we're in love. And now, Oh, really? Oh, dude, when I was young, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, obviously. Yeah, she said, uh, my one buddy went to show and tell. We were like 18 years old, and he there was a fucking monstrous Asian woman there. Could have been a man, but she, he gets a like lap dance from her shit, and he comes out. He goes, dude, this chick said I had the biggest dick she's ever felt. I was like, right, I've just seen your penis. I know it's not. <laughs> she's lying to you. He's like, why the fuck would she say that? She's Asian, dude. She might have not seen a big dick before. I was like, she's a stripper, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she never saw a Guido before. Yeah, she never saw a real made man. But yeah, we went to that. Going, we walked 15 minutes through AC to get there. And like, dude, that was worse than North Philly. Like, I was walking through, yeah. like, oh Jesus fucking Christ. It's always been pretty bad, yeah. I yeah, I never knew that. Also, at the same time, if someone could bring it back, it'd probably be pretty cool. It'd be like Philly on the beach. Oh no, I hear you. Yeah, that but, was the idea. But it was. It's always been shitty. It's heavy on the Mexican down there too. What do you mean? Like, there's so many Mexicans down there. I bet, yeah. Just in that like little pocket we That's walked That's a very through. affordable beach town. Yeah it's, yeah. it's probably fucking chill. Like, if you're coming from Mexico to just go to AC, it's probably heaven. But, yeah, we went to the strip club and then went back. We got a nice snooze on around 1 a.m. Slept until 9. That was nice. And we went to HQ2. <laughs> Pool bar, baby. <laughs> Shit was nice. Everyone was having fun. But, like, the people that are at AC and the HQ2 pool bar, I guess they're from New York. They're probably all made men. Their uncles are probably in the fucking mob. (laughs) They love Sicilian. (laughs) The level of intelligence at this place. There was a DJ playing a DJ record. And it was like, the song was going bing, 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 bing. And Uh, a kid was actually. Crazy Frog. No, but like <laughs> just the noise, like the bing oh, okay. noise. Yeah. And there was a kid singing to it, going like lipping, bing, bing, bong, bing, <laughs> bing, 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 bong. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> like he knew it. No, he was just like feeling it, and no, like he was like he was lipping he was the Cuomo. noise. He was. It was all Cuomos. I was like surrounded <laughs> by fucking Cuomos. It was. It was very intense. But then I got home, and like I'm, I'm chilling now. But I do not need to do that anymore. Yeah, look like how the Cuomo dance starts in the lower back. It do. It's all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're just like doing little mini sit ups. That's step one. Yeah, I watched that like probably 20 times. But yeah, I, that was a very eventful. I I drank all that stuff. I escaped two hangovers, which like the the, the heavens are looking out for me on that because you know me. Yeah. I'm the type of guy that throws up in a sink of coopies. <laughs> I'm the type of guy you got to drive home in Baltimore, Maryland. You know, I wasn't going to make that drive back from fucking AC. I was going to be Yeah, hurt. that's crazy. But yeah, I fell asleep at like seven o'clock. Just headed on home. Get get back here. Get back to home base and 
mask mandate. Yeah, I was going to say, you can come back to a dystopia. I get back to the corniest mask mandate ever. Literally making no sense. F- f- fresh off a goat cast with Hoss. Mm. They say, cause of the Delta. Brother, <laughs> Delta doesn't exist. Got news for you. COVID doesn't exist. It's pretty cr- that fucking, Put that um, on YouTube. <laughs> that picture going around of the nightly news saying the uh, opposition to COVID measures is the number one domestic threat. Yeah. It's like. I'm pretty sure stealing an election yeah. is the number one thing to domestic. That's the number one domestic terror threat. Yeah, right. It's crazy, man. We are Ruby Ridged at this point. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're completely against us with zero facts. My, my, my buddies are like, they want the mass, they want COVID vaccine they want this passports. To be over. They want it to be yeah. over. This is what I'm, this is why I think it, this is like a um, trauma H or like a MK Ultra. It's like trauma based mind control. It's like what you guys, yeah. when you guys describe mushrooms, how it comes in waves. This is what it seems like. It's like wave of really horrible shit. Everything gets back to normal. Another wave of horrible shit. Everything gets back to normal. Yeah, I mean, it's a little fucked up now that they're trying to push the vaccines for the kids. At this they're point, they're trying to push them to pregnant chicks. Yeah, at this point, it's time to fucking call it a day. <laughs> call it a day with civilization, bro. Dude, like, and this is all over something that is like you're gonna survive it for the most part. Yeah, we're in La La Land, dude. It's, it's not about it's not about making sense anymore. It really, like at this point, if you, it got people like my buddies, smart kids, completely normal. They're like, I want the everyone to show a um, vaccine card in order to get in, just to get it over with. Dude, I was, uh, yeah, I was talking to EJ yesterday about this, and um, he's like, I just don't understand why they're pushing this. Did he's in New York, and he said that when I go up, maybe we can play at the pool halls because yeah. they're not going to be enforcing it on the minorities. Fuck no. You know what I mean? The first video. All like minority, saying, you can't come into this restaurant yeah, if you're on, black, it's over. On minority heavy buildings, I could go in. Yeah. But like. We them boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's like, I don't understand why they're pushing this digital thing. I was like, dude, they've been pushing it since like 2017. There's this one chick. She's got brown hair and she does ID 2020. She's like the TED Talk for ID 2020. Okay. And in Canada, they have a commercial that'll fucking make you cringe. Like it is. A mom being like, oh, this is so great. I have an app with my banking and with all my kids' inf- health information on it. It's great for my kids because it's hard for me to juggle as a working mom. It's hard for me to juggle all this stuff. I can't remember all their shots. That's the commercial in Canada for, like, the Canadian app. Is that the doctor's job? What do you mean? Like, you go to the doctor for a checkup. It's like, hey, you're scheduled for this. Like, why does a mom have to remember all of her shots? You know, your mom writes stuff down in a calendar. Oh, okay. And, yeah. The moms have to. The moms have responsibility moms for the health of the kids. Time. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like a single mom, and she's like, "This app is saving me." That's the commercial in Canada. That's nuts, dude. This is the thing where they try to get women addicted to the state. That's that, like a big deal. That's what they did in the sixties, right? Yeah, this is like a thing that they know how to do because it's like their psychology is built for this. They where like you do, where like the dudes are like, "Whoa, whoa, who the fuck's this guy?" Yeah, what do they want me to do? Yeah, it's like authoritarians feel like daddy, and they're like. Yes, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, give me this app. But, like, your banking information and all your health stuff is going to be on it. And they've been pushing it way before COVID. So it's like this is just icing on the cake for them. They're like, oh, shit, this is our chance. Yeah, it's, I just you don't know? understand why they're so hot for it. That's an app. I mean, everyone's hot for apps. I No, I'm saying I don't understand, like, why the government wants your medical information so bad. Because they have to control the population that they govern. I mean, dude. <laughs> it just it just sucked. Like I was watching zero 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 last night. Just pit, I'm pissed. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna text my one friend from Venezuela. Like, when did you actually know it was over? Hmm. That's it. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna talk to her today about that. Just like, when did you know that? Like, okay. Brenda, baby. No, 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 no. That's Brazil. Oh, sorry. I was like, when did Our you, Latin queens? <laughs> I was like, when did you know? Like, okay, it's over. Because that, like, she went through this. Like, this chick. Was like going to the store with like paper bags of money buying like fucking bread. Yeah, like the South Africa stuff. Yeah, yeah it's fucked. And the news isn't reporting anything. Like the same with the South Africa stuff. Like the news is is insane right now. Yeah, I don't pay attention to it. Yeah, it, it's just fucking. The bigger stuff is what's scaring. The, the stuff that freaks me out is whoever's behind it. It doesn't have to be state run. But like yeah. the. Effect of the propaganda on the boys, dude. That's the shit that fucks me up. 
Because yeah. everyone has a breaking point to the to where they're like, all right, dude, enough, fuck it. And they'll like, get it. like fuck it, dude, just get it. Yeah. Like I'm, everybody, it, I'm watching people on round two right now. Blake. Like for me and you, it's when they come to your house with blue helmets and a gun. Yeah. But a lot of these dudes, nah. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. And then, the weird thing to me is like the social pressure from like, it's mostly driven by women. It's yeah. like you know, it's literally everything. Sad, sob stories and all this other shit. And the, the the shit they're doing on the news constantly with like 30 year old man died, kids are dying. It's like show me them. Yeah, I mean, even the pushbacks led by you always moms, try to lie to me about kids yeah, like dying. Moms <laughs> trying to get their kids in school, like they're kicking kids out of school because they know their parents. So like, there's kids that are getting kicked out of school because they they know that the parents haven't been following COVID. In New York or just no, in like general? in the country. You know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. Like, it's not the government that imposes this shit. It, yeah, it's each other. Yes. And like, they, this is coming from Operation Bluebird. Later on, named MK Ultra. This came from the Nazis. What to get the people? Like, dude, when, when that was over, there, like when those guys got done that war, you get they got they were like, dude, how did you guys do this? So oh they, yeah, you know what I mean? Like they, they're like looking at Germany, like, damn, you guys. I mean, could if we did our inversion? Yeah, we have yeah. an idea. Like we won't bite off. What you're like, you oh did. yeah, dude. Like you can't just go and do this. You have to put all these people through X, Y, and Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. It's crazy that the government, like when this shit came out, they did everything is weird, like legal talk of you. If you don't require it to be vaccinated to get in, you have to wear a mask. It's like nothing is like you have to fucking do this. This is the law because it's not the law. I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a lawyer. But it's just the way they're writing it. Like the same. I don't really care. Like, I won't. If it doesn't, if it goes against natural law, that's the only one I care about. Yeah. But the same thing, like, before they reinstated the mask thing. When you walked into Wawa, I just yeah. said, wear a mask unless you're fully vaccinated. What's that mean? Well, I mean, that's stupid. Like, there, the thing that's scary is this: um, when the Biden administration's out in the open saying that they want to have it passes for going between states. Interstate, yeah. Yeah, that's creepy, man. At that and point, you're going like, to have a civil You're literally trying to have a civil war. Yeah. But there's people that believe, like... That the Rothschilds want to take back America. Well, they're trying hard as fuck. You know what right I mean? They, 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 they tried in the Civil War, and they're trying again. Yeah. The, all Like, this whole week, walking into everywhere, I haven't had any pushback until this morning. The guy from Wawa comes up to me. I didn't get shit, but I think they think I'm retarded. Yeah, there could be. Yeah. You are you got crazy hair when you wake up, man. Yeah, my hair's all messed up, <laughs> my shirt. I don't know why I'm getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, when I walked in there today, the dude had the box. And he's like, hand him out. He goes, sir, your mask. And I just go, I'm not wearing that shit. Yeah. I can't. I was like, I can't wear that. That's all I say. I can't wear that. Yeah, nobody said shit to me. Nothing. They just walked away. You Like, dude, when it first happened, I got kicked out. Yeah, but dude, that was guns blazing. And now, like, I think everyone knows it's bullshit. Everyone got a taste of salt. Life. But it's all social credit score now. And, like, I'm set, like, you know, we do it to each other. Like, you're the. I walked in today, and you're watching that Black Mirror episode. Yeah. That's where we're headed. Nosedive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that Black Mirror episode is literally what's going it's on. It's not the government that does this shit. It's to each other. We we do this to each other. Uber. At some point in Germany, it was like, yeah, you know what? Like, fucking round them up. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's that, just making too much sense right now. Like, I was watching it. And I was like, that's crazy. And, like, at the at the time, I was like, yeah, that could happen in the future. And then I'm watching it again. I was like, oh, fuck. This is Uber. Yeah. Like, you can't get a ride <laughs> if you're being the dick. That's what they based it on. Like, the initial rating like Yelp, Uber. Yeah. Like that was all that was around when that episode came out. Yeah, that is like it. That's what's going on now. Because if you're on, if you're on dating apps and shit and you have no social media, you're on one. That's why. Yeah. You have one start. Dude, that's, that's literally, that's why, yeah. if they can't find you on the socials, they <laughs> think you're a killer. They don't know. You're just a killer guy who loves having fun with his friends. You know, it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, it's like all this stuff is just going to China's model of, Social credit score. If you don't go along, you're ostracized immediately. It's wild they still let like the this stuff on YouTube for a little bit. Like I try to look up Mike Lindell's fucking <laughs> pillow symposium. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere. I like, mean, it's probably just great. I mean, it's probably like a real feel good show. I think it's just like a fucking TED talk. They're just like, yo, man, they stole it. 
Yeah. I just don't understand why he keeps he keeps trying to do this. Like, dude, we get it. No one cares. Even the people that stole it know it, and they don't care. They're boomers, though. What do you mean? Uh, like, there's pro- there's yeah. probably young kids <laughs> that's like, Uncle Mike, you can just put this on Twitter and show all your information. Yeah. No, we're, we're going to have a thing where everyone comes. <laughs> and I can make some money. Yeah, like, yeah. if I, what's, what's so wrong about making nah, a little dude, extra money? He gives money? all his money to charity stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and they, I just think they're boomered out. They're trying to get the truth out. It's like, we'll have a fucking town hall. It's like, you can just tweet it. You have all your information. You can just tweet it right there. Yeah, we are at the we are at the hands of the boomers right now. Yeah, you saw what the fuck I was dealing with. Oh, yeah. They get shitty with me. They're assholes, dude. They're I'm no trying else. to teach a guy how to use an app, and he's just getting me. He's, like, getting mad at me. I was like, dude. What? And, like, they can't take blame in anything the dude asked me if a brand new tablet was used I said, no dude you're just a luddite like, you can't <laughs> handle technology it's that's like, the nicest shit like not being able to work a phone and be like what is this used yeah <laughs> yeah it's where'd you get this thing craigslist <laughs> oh but dude my uh my one cousin said they were when they were going out to the bar like the guy was like show me your vaccine thing like everyone was showing the dude like came up to one kid patriot not my cousin my cousin's fully vaccinated because he's a cuck but they have one kid's like, I'm not vaccinated. He's just pretend yeah, you're dude. showing me something on your phone. <clears throat> That's They're going to eliminate that dude. It's going to be scanning a QR code. Yeah, definitely. You know? And like, ideally, they're not going to trust the... Eventually, they're not going to trust your electronic device. Because, you know... It'll be a state phone. It'll be in your... Right here, buddy. It'll be right in your hand. I'm not... This is an old 666 six, six, right in your hand, bro. Yeah, the... Uh, all this stuff is you just... without the mark will not be able to buy and sell. Yeah, it is very scary. Like, I was watching TV last night just feeling like, ah, oh, fuck. Just when things are about to get good. Yeah, it really, t- really black pills me, and then I sit there with no hope, teetering on the edge of a nervous breakdown, where I'm just like, well, at least I have this show to watch before I die. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, I just lay there, like, all blanketed up, and I have a blanket of Zeus, and I'm like, I'm missing, man. I just lay there and watch TV. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's just. Like, I had my booger, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> cozy time. <laughs> it's cozy time, friends. Yeah, it's uh, they're literally just everything on TV. They're yeah, just was cracking me up last night when you were texting me like, "Give me the cue drops, dude. I want, I want to take me back there, dude." dude it's Where are they? It's awesome. It's awesome. You can get as mad as you want at me, but it's just awesome. <laughs> Everyone likes like Shane was having an argument with me the other day. I like astrology. He likes sports. Shane thinks sports aren't gay, but astrology is. I think they're equally as gay. I'm not saying what I watch isn't kind of fucking feminine. It is, but sports are gay. You need feminine energy, dude. Yeah, you're too much, man. I'm too macho. Yeah, you fucking mean it. Did you see Q Force, the Netflix cartoon? No. Yeah, Q. You like Q stuff? That's a Netflix cartoon of. They obviously took Q. It's not about Q. Oh, no, it's about it's queer. They're they're spies. They're all gay. Trailer might make you throw up, guy like you. Bro, I mean, I know like <laughs> people call me gay. Bill, dude, I'll show you this. This is one click away for kids. These adult cartoons kind of freak me out because kids are naturally attracted to cartoons. Yes, yeah, and we don't have to get into the origins of Nickelodeon, but it's kind of insane that like, you know. It's kind of insane that they have this up there. What the fuck you, are they doing? You this know shit the for? kids are going to click on it. Yes. I mean, kids like rainbows. Kids like colors. Yes. They're in fuck. They're, they just got out of Teletubbies, dude. You know what I mean? Clear like they're force. they're watching. What's the fucking one? The what's car- the fucking one they're watching? Uh, Booba. Booba. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're in Booba, and then they get a little older. It's like, oh yeah, what's this cartoon? It's just like, dude. Like I understand there's fucking gay people who have families, but like, yeah, straight ones are better than you. Just watch them on TV. <laughs> you guys had fucking logo. It is weird how they creep that in from like Modern Family. Remember that? Yeah. And Will and Grace and all that stuff. People spaz about ass. that. People were like, this will break down society. It's like, hey, man, I mean, I'm not saying that that. I'm not saying that Have that, you that seen did cuties? it. I'm not saying that that did it. But that, I mean, if you look at a timeline, correlation doesn't equal Dude, causation. It's just like, but, yeah. It's, so, it's for such a fucking small percentage. Like, throw it on logo. <laughs> logo was you guys had that shit you had fucking rupaul's drag race and fucking build a house make me look good all that stuff keep it on logo queer force throw it on logo get a logo you had to watch that didn't you what didn't you have to watch all the rupaul's, RuPaul's drag race yeah yes. didn't you? yeah yeah I was, hey man uh, I, I was in bachelor nation for like two years so uh yeah i, I did that it. too but i mean yeah <laughs> i had to watch rupaul's drag race for a little while i'm not gonna say anything about anything anymore because allegedly i said mean things about girls 
I don't remember it, but hey, if you want to say that, that's fine. Yeah. RuPaul's Drag Race is fucked. You want to take this thing for a spin or what? How much time? Oh, we don't do it. There's no way we're close. I don't want to end this fucking episode, dude. Uh, I'm just waking up. I was up all night. Yeah, I'm sorry that took so long, man. <laughs> now we're gay, dude. <laughs> that was frustrating. <laughs> it's just like... <sighs> it's just so fucking... It's bizarre. Like, you guys... If you want to have a fucking gay show, have it. But everything doesn't have to be a sexual joke. Be a normal human. Who likes sucking cock? Bust through a door. But when if a girl does something... Everything, like, I'm not saying, like, oh, my God, I'm hard. <laughs> like, oh, my God, look at that girl. I'm fucking hard. A girl comes in, does something cool. My dick just jumped. You'd be a sexual assaulter. They do have higher testosterone. They do. Yeah. They're always, it's, they're always fucking around each other. <laughs> they're deviants, dude. It, yeah, I don't know why they can't say. They've, it's weird. The, the way that's drawn is even more kid-friendly than Archer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's... It's more childlike, the animation. It's weird that they're trying to do this shit. Like, it's... They go harder and harder. Destruction of the family, bro. Well, dude, it literally feels like that's what it is. Because every time, they just go harder and harder. Like, every year, it just gets worse and worse. Yeah, I don't like these... Yeah, I don't like the idea of this. I don't know what it's like to have kids. So, I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a parent when this is going on. I wouldn't even, like... You know? Obviously. That's a wild thing for a kid to see. To start being like, my butthole, like what, like dude, what, dude? I didn't even know you could derive pleasure from that thing until like two years ago. We don't ago. even have to get into that. But. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I, if someone said it made my butthole go blue, like I'm 12 watching, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm just figuring out about bonners, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, there's way too much shit. Like it used to be hard as fuck. To find something like you would have to stare at TV guide and you would have to have the gumption to stay up until three o'clock in the morning just to see a tit. Now mm. with all that, it, like you're fucked. If you want to go, I used to draw my own porn. <laughs> yeah, some people are gifted. <laughs> I had to wait, but like if like that was a bad find, man. What? When I got busted. B- busted with I got own busted porn? with all my porn. So I had a mattress and then the box spring, and I thought I was a genius. It was yours? Like your self-drawn porn? Yeah, so I had a magazine. Oh, I found a magazine yeah. in the woods when I was 12. Yeah. I, well, I had a job where I walked. So when I was 13, actually, yeah. I was 13, and my dad got me a job. He just told me I have to go work mm-hmm. at this butcher shop. And I was like, all right, cool. It was like a little market slash butcher shop. I had to walk there. So, like, I had to walk through the woods for, like, half a mile to get there. Yeah. And, like, I found a porn on the side of the road, and it was a velvet and it was rugged. And it's like, it was, it was like yeah, they, hardcore. They were bad, dude. Like the cheap, the cheap porn magazines T-bots back in the nineties were like, oh yeah. The, the cheap porns were like really hardcore. Yes. So I brought this, I grabbed, I saw it and I was like, fuck. I grabbed it and I put it in between my mattress and my box spring. But as. Classic spot. Yeah. But dude, I mean, like back then there was no internet. So like th- I had this thing for like years. Yeah. You probably had like, like worn corners and stuff. oh yeah dude so like i eventually you was, never uh, defiled it right oh i destroyed this thing so <laughs> oh, um oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah. what i was like i'm so smart i cut the bottom of my box spring open there. Yeah. and i put it in that fabric obviously and then i got bored with i got bored with um the pictures yeah but i'm a creative so i sat down and i was like i'll I like so this is how a pussy works i'm gonna draw my own stuff so I drew all this like I would pay a thousand dollars to see these pictures. So I drew as best I could, like girls ready to get doggy styled. Right? <laughs> and they were line drawing. Doggy style is an affront to God, by the <laughs> way. Dude, they were li- they were line drawings. And like a lot of the dudes What's that, line drawings. Like just line. Like this was like fucking you didn't color it in or anything. This was like fucking Matisse, just freestyle. You pretty dude. much beaten off the what's that? Uh Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, I wasn't shade I didn't shade it or anything until I, I brought it on the bus and I showed you got a critique. I showed the squat. Yeah. I was like, bros, look at this. And then they were like, Can you make me one? So I was like drawing, I was drawing these pictures like four other people. Yeah. And once I did that, I was like, ah oh, man, I was fucking shading a little butthole you, area. You would do good in prison, dude. Uh, so I was like shading in a butthole. I was like, I was getting nice, and I was like <laughs> learning how vaginas worked and yeah. everything. 
So, but I would draw these, I had these drawings and I would just, I would defile these as well. And yeah. I would stuff them up in the thing. And I came, oh. I came home one day and I would get torqued on the bus ride. Yeah. The bus ride home was like, you knew what was happening. Well, also too, man, like there were older girls that would like tease me, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and I'd cuddle, yeah. you know, I'd put my face in those hands yes. and, uh, I would get off the bus and like fucking try to get home try you're to get falling over forward at this point because you're about 90 percent penis <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're just passing out on your walk I'm like home. 110 pounds mostly backpack <laughs> and i'm like i'm flying into my house i go i like cry i had this thing where i'd like open the door and just immediately like hit the ground yeah fucking go for it and i'm reaching and there's nothing there uh, and i'm like what the fuck and i come downstairs and my dad's home my dad's never home and he's sitting there at the kitchen table, and he's got my drawings, and he's got the fucking Fuck dads source. for going along for that. Oh, yeah, but, dude, that was embarrassing. It's just my dude throw it out. Yeah. That's all yeah, I, I'm sure my mom must have been impressed with Because I, I used to have this thing I could draw real quick where it was the back of a chick's head, her shoulders, and then her ass. And it was all in, like, right yeah. projection. Like, yes. it was all, like, projection drawing. Like, where it looked really, like, real. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it would get you hard. Yeah. Back then, before internet, obviously it would do nothing to the kids today. But if you saw your old shit, ah, just the, just for the nostalgia, dude. <laughs> just for the nostalgia, bro. I would like, yeah, I would like for you to draw me that, please. Yeah, yeah. that was. I don't know worst. how he started talking about that. Uh, uh, queer force, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. That was the fucking worst because that shit happened to me. I did a clean out with Matt, and like at this point, it was like, dude, I'll give you fifty bucks, just work with me for this. Like, All right, cool. Whole thing. Playboy, fucking hustler, everything. Old, like cheap yeah, ones. Yeah. It was just in a basement in Philly. I was like, all right. Jackpot. <laughs> money. Can't sleep on a lump. So obviously, razor blade to the box ring, throw it the fuck in there. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a parent, but I must have been giving tells. I must have been doing something like my door is always locked. Definitely. Out and of it, nowhere. Oh, yeah. Out of fucking nowhere. It's probably bro. so fucking obvious. That at some point, they just go like, God damn it. All right, we have to say something to them. This is ridiculous. But I came home one day after a basketball game, and my mom's furiously cleaning the fucking bathroom. I don't know why. And she's just like, don't look at me. What the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> I walk into my beds in a different spot. <laughs> they reorganize my room. And I was like, okay. I mean, obviously, I like my bed against the wall. Is this because I was painting? No. Uh, Reorganize the whole fucking room. Obviously, I like my bed in the corner. So I'm all the way in the fucking corner. Bed's against the wall. This shit was in the middle of the room. I was like, you're fuck. in the pocket. I, lo I go under nothing. <laughs> uh, and there's like. I mean, at that point now, like I'm, you're telling me the story and I just want to stay in the room. I, I just want to shut the door and just stay in the room until they come to get me. Yeah. You know? And But I was so high t when this happened to me, I was like barreled down the stairs. Like I was like looking around like yeah. what's like going a fucking on? Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your brows just growing. <laughs> yeah, I I walked out, I was like, fuck, dude. Because like I knew like there was tranny hotlines with like trannies with erect decks in the back, <laughs> and I was like, God damn it! My mom saw them. My dad's like, front to God. What the hell are you looking at? I was like, That wasn't me. It's like, what do you mean? I was like, I, that wasn't me. He goes, I don't care if it was you or was you. Stop fucking lying. I was like, I have no. I used idea. to try to blame everything on Ajax. Oh, <laughs> what? All dude, cigarettes, anything. Anytime I got busted, I was like, Jack was over here. <laughs> Yeah, I just deny it because I had three other brothers. I've gotten the keyboard taken away. Like, that was my mom's other thing, which is hilarious. We would have the computer, and the keyboard would just get ganked <laughs> like, every time. And, like, it must have, Tom, Kevin, and Matt must have been taking heat because I was searching bigsex.com. Yeah, right. Like, that's how I was in third grade searching big sex. A fucking. <laughs> A fucking pop up came up, dude. I fucking freaked. I mm. like scatter. I tried to hit X a bunch of times. And new ones kept open. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> so I just hit the monitor off and I rolled. And then I guess my mom probably came out the computer, hit power, and then there was just a bunch of big sex dot com ads. Yeah. But yeah, that was I, that was the worst feeling in the world getting caught with that shit. I was actually like chilling on the couch the other day. Like that is bizarre. Like I haven't actually thought about like not having any of that dread anymore for a while. Like I was just like sitting in my room, just like this is my room. 
can't really do shit. There, I guess, huh? <laughs> this, is my, was, this is my whole house. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, this is weird. Fuck. Yeah. I'm I'm slowly getting to the death stuff, but I'm just not there. I just like okay, I'm in a house now that's mine. Mm. That's weird. The entropy of life hasn't hit yet. No, yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it was uh, that was a very disheartening fucking week. Once it went back, I was like, God damn, I'm already five months shriv. I thought you get some nice fall titties. Go to the mm. fucking thing. I don't know when this is supposed to end. Like just, obviously never, but I'm saying like this whole fucking play of the delta mass thing the masonic ritual we're being dragged through i yeah i just don't i don't know like what the fuck do you want me to <laughs> you want me to just what do you want me to say i'll say anything right now make it stop a lot of guys are there man a lot of guys will take they're like the and then your buddies are like dude i fuck that i couldn't do shrimp for a year i'm like oh summer child yeah <laughs> You can. Sometimes you don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy that like round two, shit isn't even that bad yet. Like in a on a real level, like okay, fucked up year, yes. But like it already has my buddies. Like yeah, take away all my rights. You want my medical data? Here's my medical data. Anyone who doesn't show theirs, fuck them. I definitely think they're gonna come out with an app one day where you get on the subway and you can see all of everyone's like ratings health wise. It's like, just movies. People dude. will pay for that shit because they'll get on the subway and be like, I want to know if someone has pneumonia. Yeah. That app that app would sell if that was a thing. So if the if they can collect they all They have the, to make you be like, it's cool for everyone to have the medical information. Yeah. That's the only way they can have that app. And once they have that app, it's But they just, can hack it. Like it, All those things have backdoors to Israel. Yeah, but dude, like, they can just use it to fuck people. Definitely, yeah. The same way you put a Me Too on. Who are you talking about got a Me Too? Out of fucking nowhere, you're watching some movie or a documentary. The guy from Air Force. Okay, they from just Air pegged Force. him with it. He like knew the 9-11 stuff, and they just pegged him with the Me Too. Oh, that was wild. Yeah, I was watching that. Um, well, it's not a Me Too. It's fucking pedo charges. Yeah. He claims to be a whistleblower, a WikiLeaks whistleblower. Yeah. And then they have all the, you don't When you watch a documentary, you don't know if this dude's an actual pedo or he's a whistleblower or a combination of the two. Because yeah. if you're that good at the internet and you're a little fucking, and you're a pedophile. There's know, only one reason to get that good. The they internet. really do make him look like an idiot, though. And it kind of yeah. makes me feel like if he was smarter, like this wouldn't have happened. If if he's this smart to hack all this shit and give yeah. Chelsea Manning like videos. You I figured out the name. I doubt, yeah, yeah my brain. Yeah. I doubt he uh, did this weird shit because 10 years later they say they have audio of calls. And you can you couldn't have deep faked back then, but now you can. Yeah. And the one dude in the documentary is like, "Well, if the defense had this, why are they just bringing it out now?" Yeah. Like this happened in 2011, and in 2019, they're like, "Well, here's the phone calls of him talking to the yeah, trying to get out of this." It's like to make a good documentary. It, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Like he apparently he got to the bottom of 9/11, figured out who did it. Yep. Figured out the anthrax thing Irish. was a scam. Yeah. And uh, you know. He was getting all brazen about it. He, him and his Air Force buddies were going to sell it to the Russians, allegedly. Yeah. So who knows what really went down. Pretty it, cool. Pretty cool movie to watch. But that all that stuff's crazy. Like, all the cyber attacks are happening. After that Vault 7 stuff from WikiLeaks came out, it's like, dude, this is just, like, it's all fucking fake. They just yeah, make it look like it's coming from somewhere. It's just I can't your remember government the, doing it to you. I can't remember the name of this dude. Or I think it's, like, Matthew DeCamp or something. I can't remember, but I think Errol Morris made it, but I might be getting that wrong, too. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I'll watch it, but yeah. I'll put it up on something once. Figure Whatever, out what yeah. It is. yeah. Oh, dude, the other cool thing I watched was um, Sassy Biggs hit me with that fall, Fallen oh, Angel. Fuck, I didn't watch that. The dude, you 17. should have watched that. That's nuts. I fucked up. Dude, it's so much more worse than, like, the shit that I got from the Oppenheimer Report and all that other shit when I was looking into it. Yeah. I got way into, the, like, the... um. The burial or the funeral ceremony or whatever you call it, yeah. the ramp ceremony, that was fucked. That was really mean, right? But this goes in. This has stories from the Rangers that were on the ground yeah. and the girl that was in the plane, and like she could have ended all this, and she was told to stand down. That's nutty. Yeah, I remember when the Falcon Wizard guy came out. He was talking about that stuff where it's like the fucking helicopter was so old. It was like a fucking boat, dude. 
Yeah. And like everything that like the Rangers never wanted them there. They were just there like, is no need for them to be there, but it's like cool if they want to do it, knock themselves out. That's it was basically the vibe from the Rangers. Yeah. And it, it kind of didn't make sense, but if they felt like it, I guess these guys could do whatever they wanted. Yeah. Gold squadron or whatever. Yeah, it, it's it's fucking crazy. Like my buddies are sitting there talking to me in my group chat. Like they're so not there yet. Like they're still yeah. Fox News, Tucker, all that stuff. Joe Biden fucking killed these guys. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Like, they were like, they had all these deals being like, all right, we're going to kill Osama bin Laden, you know, allegedly. Quotes, yeah. And, but we can never let the rest of the world know who did it because there will be targets on their back. Yeah. That lasted 48 hours, dude. Joe Biden's bragging about our SEAL teams. He's Hunter. And then immediately, Al Qaeda's like 50 grand ahead. If you find me a seal. That's nuts. And then there's all these Afghanis that literally fight with our Rangers and SEAL teams all the time. Yeah. Allegedly, like in the documentary, they say they've been shooting these guys in the back all the time. Oh, yeah. They get pressure from their families. Yep. Like, like It's in all those documentaries. Yeah. So, I mean, dude, if you're Joe Biden and you do this, every fucking SEAL is coming in contact with armed, trained Afghanis that have... 50,000 American dollars. Cover fire, yeah. You have a fucking big, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, this is a big win if you kill yeah. these guys. So, who knows what the fuck happened, but yeah. something's up and somebody wants it out. That's the craziest shit. Yeah, because it's the worst thing ever. It's the craziest shit is that somebody gave these parents this information. Yeah, it's, that's They insane. could have swept this under the rug. And they were, the, it, the government was right banking on it. Yeah. The black box shit makes no sense. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to ruin the movie, but yeah, it's called Fallen Angel. It's fucking goat. Yeah, I, I re- like Joe Biden is just Hunter Biden. Yeah, he's retarded. He just probably got <laughs> super compromised. And they're like, yeah, dude, you can be vice president. You're, you're ours. <laughs> they love the new uh, Hunter video where he's like, I make the guy a billion, bazillion dollars. That, yeah. It's like, dude, you're Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Every time that shit comes the out, OG. Yeah, every time that shit comes out, they're like, "Oh my god, do you see this?" He said that they're fucking. They the Russians took and everything. He's like, he's on crack. Every crackhead says this. Oh, yeah. Who knows what is true? He's smoking crack. The net was in. The net thought he the like, government was after him when he was in a river on uh, meth and acid combination. Yes, that's like I don't like. Um. I was pumped up. I saw Hunter's piece. All that stuff happened. Thought something was going to come of that. Nothing came of it. At this point, like, yeah, dude, he's filming himself. He's always filming himself, and he's always on crack. If he starts talking about Russians in China, who the fuck knows if it's true? He's on crack. <laughs> he's gone. He's probably been up for five days. Oh, yeah. I would probably start talking about this if I'd been up for five I, days. I was up till 3.30 last night, and I feel like I'm on drugs. That is worse. That's the hangover, I think. Like that. I think, think that's, that's what that's the hangover what, is. No, dude. I've had like, I I've debated going to hospital hangovers. <sighs> yeah, dude, you don't know drinking. I don't. I yeah, don't want you don't to. drink, man. Yeah, but that's like the main thing that gets me is a lack of these sleep. These goddamn craft beers, man. They they used to make these craft beers that just go down draft style, just like these things taste like mother's milk. God save me yeah. on that one, dude. I would I would be a fucking mess. I would be a slob. Matt and saved mess. me on that because I was drinking every day after work. What the fucking cramp beers? I was drinking every day after work. I would go. I would go what, to the only bar. Six. Yeah, <laughs> I would go to the bar and rip like four or five craft beers and then take my dog for a walk. Oh my! And God. like that's alcoholism because once you get that into your, once you have that going once on, that's dude, in your program. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Once this is your life, like you know, you're just living for fucking five o'clock. And uh, but when Matt was working with me, I had to make sure that he got home first. So I couldn't go to the bar. Crank. You know what I mean? And then, like, when I got back, Zeus You would just drive around like Russell Crowe. Oh, dude, for a while, yeah. Unhinged. For a while, like, I was like, I got to get this kid back. Fuck. And then when I got back, Zeus was there. He's like, so obviously we're going for a walk, and he's all pumped. And I'm yeah. like, so I just kind of stopped going to the bar. Oh. That pretty much saved my life because I was headed down to, like, you heavy alcohol. You and it's in been. my blood. I'm a thoroughbred. Yeah. I mean, I'm a th- I should be a junkie. What what I'm made of yeah. is like the worst stuff. Yeah, yeah, you you are, you are that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could not imagine doing that. That is probably such a bad fucking joke. Once you get in the groove too, because like 
you have a couple of good days and then you're just chasing those good days to rest the rest of your life. Yeah. I was confused. I was like, I was trying to push the mushies on my mom. I was like, Oh, this will be great for you. And she's like, I don't like them. And EJ was like, dude, she has the alcohol slot. Like she's an alcoholic. Yeah. Like you, you have a mushroom slot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is, this fits good for you. But like if you're an alcoholic or if you're a drinker and you're, you're filling that hole, like that's, that's your hole, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a whole life. It's probably like the end. Isn't that sweet? Cause like fucking organs fail and shit like that. But like you probably have so many good times (laughs) on to the, on the way to the end. Like I'm, I'm, I come home these four walls. I Not come home. Know, I come home on Friday. <laughs> I drank a smoothie on Friday. That's it, because I knew I was gonna munch. <laughs> I knew I was gonna come home and fucking munch. I put ragut on it <laughs> as a shout out. I mean, you didn't come over to eat pizza. That's fine. I go to Franco's. This is. I got one last Sunday, and I couldn't even wait a week. I had to get one Friday. <laughs> I got a fucking Sicilian pizza. They call it the mafia over there. I don't know if you know that. La Cosa Nostra's for here. They call it the mafia over there. I've also watched Infinity Vlad TV interviews this week. I fucked up. You're a made man. On Fridays. Yes. Uh, My hat's off to Italians. On Fridays, good job. I really appreciate what you guys done. You gotta get, like, you gotta become like an, like you know how the guineas get all like into their Italian type gear. Yeah, you gotta go like old style, like fedora, long jacket. Yeah, you know? <laughs> they rule. Yeah, the the real Italians rule. The other ones are just princes. Oh yeah, yeah. I fucking, I I don't know if I can do it again on Friday. It's a lifestyle. It's cake, dude. It's so <laughs> and dude, they sloshed me the, with the with the gravy. No, 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 no. they sloshed <laughs> me. What's that mean? They fucking sloshed my pie. I don't know what that means, dude. Fucking gave it to me, sloshed. Cheese all over uh, the left. Oh, yeah, I've done that a bunch of times. Like, what the fuck is this? You got delivery. Was it the Italian job? Franco's delivered it to me. <laughs> this is this a hit? Yeah, right. Is this a hit on me? Am I regut? <laughs> I was trying to eat a fucking pizza. It was so cheesy. I, I think next week, yesterday, I had a nice fucking poke bowl, some raw tuna, smoothie. I'm back to being a normal guy. Yeah, I can. Fridays. I'm, I'm I with put, you, dude. I need to get. I need sleep. <laughs> yes. You know, dude. You gotta start falling asleep at like six. I'm fucked, man. It's for legends. right now. I'm so fucked up. Falling asleep at six is for beasts. Like I have an internal monologue of like I'm shaky. I'm having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <The> wheels <are laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. I'm so like uh, it's like I'm even. I'm like kind of too tired to even be sad. Yeah, it's uh. You know? Something about these, like, last two, five, I mean, pretty much the whole entire summer, but it's just flying. Like, I was, like, I was sitting there on uh, Thursday looking at my Is phone. Is it over, dude? And all these people. Is it over? All these people are fucking. Should I rope? <laughs> they're all just like, fuck it, Thursday, Thursday. I'm looking at you like, fucking dumb, dude. It's Friday. Or it's uh, it's Wednesday. No idea it was for Thursday. Shit's just flying the fuck by. I got too much shit to do. I like a vacation. Take a vacation, dude. Nah, I can't right now. I I would once we we can get the house done. I want to just be able to go to fucking yoga, chill there. But that's why I'm sitting on the couch at zero zero zero. Yeah, I can't fucking go to yoga. You can't, dude. I can't even do anything. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Fucking masks. I mean, dude, if you're going along with this, straight up, I hate you. I straight up hit you. <laughs> if your fucking yoga studio is going along with this, like Matt was saying, you went to that place. Hot yoga. What's the main thing you got to do with hot yoga? Breathe. How are you supposed to breathe through a sock the mask? How nutty is that I can't breathe shit kicked all this off? Yes. You know what I mean? Like that. I mean, to get back to the Michael Wan, Kobe, they're wearing masks. Kobe Bryant's yeah. death in the helicopter, dude, kicked off a wild fucking Masonic ritual. Not to mention the burning of fucking Notre the, Dame. The master builder year. And yeah. then we're here. You know? yeah, it's, it really fucks you up when you're trying to fucking just get back into the swing. Like, all right, we'll finish this house, and then I'll fucking... Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I had all the fire and the fury before, and I'm trying, man, and I'm trying to keep it together. Yeah. But it's like, for what? 
Yeah. Dude, what are we doing? Like, they're taking everything away. It's thank like, God. for what, dude? Thank God I'm not on fucking dating apps because I would fucking punch my phone. Uh, you'd probably do good, though. No, no, no. I, I couldn't see the state of when I just... Oh, the state's bad, yeah. It's fucking atrocious. Yeah. Even the state of dudes, because the reason the state of women is this way, it's a yin and yang thing. I don't want to get into it. I'm a bit of a clairvoyant. I don't want to do it right now. But the fucking yin and yang, the dudes are fucking making this happen. Fucking stop. Stop doing it. Stop going online, putting up pictures of your vaccination card. Stop yeah, fucking wearing media. masks and your shit. This is just a black mirror. The dude. girls and the boys, they're together. That's how they have kids. Mm. And you got to just, you, you want to know what you make cool? Be a fucking cool person. Don't make it all about who you voted for and what the fuck you put on your face. Because honestly, that mask isn't stopping germs. Your bedazzled fucking mask isn't stopping germs. And all you're doing is hurting the normal guys out there. They're just looking to munge with someone on a Friday. The, 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 Sicilian's, to mon- like, the Sicilian's fucking huge. <laughs> I need a girl to at least kill three slices. How many? Just I'll ballpark. get seven thousand pounds. Ballpark. How many? Uh, how many Sicilians? When you're when you're a made man, like what are you rocking, slice wise? Four corners, obviously out. Four corners out, immediately. But immediately. like how many? So I eat the first four corners. I'm like, oh, mono. <laughs> I feel a little stuff right now. <laughs> and I mean, I feel a little stuff, but there's guys out there who need me. So I got to eat more. <laughs> and then I see which piece. I mean, this, which is, piece, this is just a number answer, dude. Which, I'm like, dude, how many? Shut up. <laughs> Maybe six. That's impressive. It's fucking. That's impressive. These are, it's th- these are very heavy slices. These are pound cakes, dude. I... I was watching zero zero zero. <laughs> this is people are gonna hate this. <laughs> no, dude. Once they watch zero zero zero, they'll want to talk zero zero zero. Oh god. We might just change this whole podcast to a zero 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 podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I was just watching that, and like I kept that box was there. I kept getting seltzers. What's turning my? Oh, how hard is it? How many calories am I burning turning my fucking oven on to five fifty and throwing a middle slice in there? That's sloshed. <laughs> you're talking slice. to a dude that's been eating two dinners out of comfort because I have never been touched in fucking five years. Yeah, is this how it starts? <laughs> I mean, dude, you don't have to. Talk. Are you the Remember Don? when I ate butter? <laughs> Remember when I was just eating butter and drinking whole milk? Are you the Don? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's comfort, but you know, I like it. <laughs> it's fun, I, but yeah, that was that was my thing. I would get pizza on Fridays. It used to be with a woman. Now it's not. So I just mind myself. I'm like, damn. I'm watching that. There's dudes getting sniz on 000. The yeah. Show, TV show on Amazon Prime 000. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's dudes getting sniz. I'm just sitting there mind I'm like, God damn, dude. I need a fucking girlfriend. It's like, can I go out? No. Can I even get it? Like, obviously. Where yeah. are they? <laughs> dude. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you could go out, like, where are I'll, they? I'll get in. Are work. they in the park pretending to read books? I I'll, mean, what's going on? I'll get. Uh, I'm a fucking <laughs> sicko, dude. I'll tell. We'll go to the park, the Patreon, but yeah. Like, Look at that one. I'm pretending not, to know how to read. I'm not. I'm not cool driving right now. No, I'm going to get in an accident. No, I, yeah, we'll, t- we'll talk about it on Patreon. Maybe give you a song that'll fucking bring us all up out of this hell. I'm sorry, we, man. I fucking, I'm just so tired. Yeah, obviously. We're all tired. And I'm shaky. Yeah, you, your wheels are going to fall off. <laughs> My arms feel like they're deteriorating. The life force. That I can't even made. flex from like having like shoulder, like yeah, the have, things you like that you hold dystrophy. your, the things that hold your arms on that like you need them to be able to, to flex. show everyone that you're a big boy. <laughs> yeah. You can't show everyone that you're a big boy right now. Right now you're little. Oh man. We'll switch over. 